Okay, so welcome to this discussion for today. Which, welcome to Physics 71. This is um, the first part of uh, the topic on one-dimensional motion. So we will discuss kinematics in one dimension here. So here's uh, an outline of our discussion. First, we discuss what is motion. Uh, we are studying mechanics, and mechanics is the study of motion. But exact, what exactly is motion? How do we define it? Uh, and what, how can we say that something is moving? And then after that, we will define some kinematical quantities or mathematical quantities that can describe the motion of bodies, such as displacement, time, velocity, and acceleration. Okay, so this is basically uh, just a, a very brief um, recap of what you've studied already, maybe in high school or maybe in your um, in junior high or senior high. So uh, we will. I believe this should be shouldn't be a relatively difficult topic. So yeah. So, okay, so here are the objectives of this discussion. At the end of this session, you should be able to have the following, to understand the following. First, define distance, average speed, and instantaneous speed. And then second, we define displacement, average velocity, and instantaneous velocity. Um, from the previous discussion, we have our discussion on vectors. And uh, there we have differentiated uh, scalars from ve vectors. Again, scalars are quantities with only magnitude, vectors have magnitude and direction. So here, one example, uh, examples of scalars include distance, speed, and well, average and instantaneous speed. Example, uh, examples of vectors include displacement, average velocity, and instantaneous velocity. These will be further discussed as we go along. And then um, we also want to define average and instantaneous acceleration. So, and after that, we describe motion in one dimension in terms of the kinematical quantities above. Okay, so let's start. Now, um, kinematics in one dimension. Again, mechanics is a study of motion. So basically, ang pinag-uusapan sa mechanics, paano at bakit gumagala o mga bagay-bagay. You can briefly divide mechanics into two. Um, we have kinematics, which answers the question, how do objects move? So basically, if you have your kinematics, you're asking for the mathematical description of motion. This in involves the mathematical description. So those who have attended my orientation, of course, mga sadyante ko lang naka-attend ng orientation ko, nabanggit ko na to sa inyo. So in that case, parang ang mechanics ay parang translation. So of course, if you're a lay person, you are some uh, when you see something, for example, a car moving at some speed, syempre sasabihin mo kung lay person ka, ah, mabilis yung kotse o mabagal yung kotse. In that case, you are describing the motion of an object, but not mathematical enough for you to predict quantities uh, associated with that motion. And that's the objective of your kinematics, to provide us a mathematical description of motion. That is, uh, So in that case, we will describe uh, the motion of an object, not just through adjectives, but rather through more mathematical means. Like, for example, the speed of the car is 50 kph, for example. Ganun siya, din siya din define. Okay? Now, another thing, uh, the second uh, division for mechan uh, mechanics is dynamics. So the question now is, what causes the motion of these objects? So, paano? Oh, alam natin gumagalaw siya. Anong, na anong dahilan? Bakit siya gumagalaw? Okay? So the first um, two chapters of, uh, after this chapter and next chapter, we will discuss the kinematics of particles. Um, moving in 1D and 2D and 3D. And then after that, we will go to Newton's laws because that will explain uh, that will explain how or why uh, an object moves. So, so do natin pag-uusapan, bakit gumagalaw yung objects na ito? Okay? May tanong ba for it so far? May mga tanong ba? Wala. Wala. Okay, thank you. So now... As I said, for the first, um, dun sa mga na, kasama ko nga sa orientation, as I said, uh, the first LE coverage of Physics 71 treats objects as point particles. As I said, point particles, you can, what are these particles? What is a point particle? A point particle means that the shape and the size of the object are considered negligible. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo tinitignan ko yung ball ay below ko. <laughs> so, you will always consider it as a dot. Uh, this formulation will be important, especially since all the forces for a point particle are external. Di mo na natin pag-uusapan ngayon yung forces. So, ang gusto ko lang sabihin for now in this lecture is that all the, all, for example, a moving car, uh, all objects that we will be treating for the next maybe um, 10 lectures is, these are all particles. So, hindi natin mo natitignan yung pagiging car ng car. But we will all treat a car as a point particle, as a dot. 
we will neglect the dimension or the size of that car. Okay? Is that clear? Malino ba tayo doon? Malino ba tayo dito? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, so, um, there are different basic quantities in kinematics. These are the following. Displacement, velocity, acceleration, and time. So, this, so, as I said, you want a mathematical description. So, you start with the definitions that you want. So, here, we have our uh, the displacement usually defined by your delta x vector. Um, for 2D and 3D, this is this becomes delta r vector. So wag kayo malilito sa notation. Pag naging r yan, parehas lang yan. Displacement pa rin yan. It's still a vector. And then velocity is a v vector. Acceleration is a vector and time is t. The displacement, velocity, and acceleration are vector quantities. Time is a scalar quantity. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong ba rito? May tanong? Wala po. Wala po. Now, of course, we know Thank you, for, thank you for these responses. Now, of course, we know that mechanics studies motion. But what is motion? What is motion? So let's define motion first. So we already have a, a description of motion, but then what exactly is motion? You can define motion as the following. It's a continuous change in position with respect to a reference point. The, um, I want to emphasize the importance of the reference point here. Okay? The reference point here means that there should be something that's set as zero. And it's the first thing that you need to do when you solve problems in mechanics. You need to set your reference. As a consequence, because um, an observer uh, sees the motion of an object, and each observer, uh, of course, has some knowledge on the motion, and uh, kada observer, iba iba possibly nakita niya, motion is relative. Don't forget this. Motion is relative, and it is dependent on the observer that is looking at the motion of an object. Motion is relative. It's not absolute. So for example, we will see this especially when we go to relative velocities. So for example, I am a stationary observer. Sabihin, ako ay nakahinto. Tapos may duang kotse. Of course, from my perspective, the kotse or the car is moving with respect to me. But if I'm inside the car and I don't see any uh, surroundings at nasa loob lang kotse, nakalak yung kotse, nakasara lahat, am I... Is the car moving with, with respect to me? Gumagalaw ba yung kotse relative to me? Dipo. Hindi. Yes, exactly. So in that case, the description of motion now becomes dependent on the or on the observer, which is me. So in that case, the, the, it's possible that in one condition, the speed is moving. In the other condition, the speed is at rest. Uh, the, the car is at rest. Okay, so in that case, the, uh, depending on the observer, the description of motion might change. And you should be aware of that. Okay, so kaya importante dito na since motion depends on the observer, there, is, there should be uh, a unified uh, uh, interpretation or a unified understanding of what your coordinate system is. This is the first step in solving a lot of problems in mechanics. You need to first set up your coordinate system. What is the origin of your coordinate system? And for that, you can define other physical quantities, like for example, position. Okay? So you need to set up your coordinate axis first. Malino ba to? Is this clear? Yes, Do not sir. forget that motion is relative, it's not absolute. Ang tawag pala dito is this principle is known as your Galilean relative. It was Galileo who first postulated this. This is known as your Galilean relative. Okay? Sir, curious lang ako, yung relativity ba nito related sa relativity na Einstein? Apparently, yes. But I won't discuss it anymore. <laughs> yes. So, 